Hello guys and welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use Coinbase app or the Coinbase wallet. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get right into it. So first off, you may ask, what is Coinbase or what is the Coinbase app or the Coinbase wallet? So basically what is the Coinbase wallet is Coinbase wallet is a self-custody wallet that gives you complete control of your crypto. So what this actually means is that the private keys that are that represent ownership of the cryptocurrency are for your wallet and are stored directly on your mobile device. And it's not centralized uh, exchange like Coinbase.com. It's not centralized with that. So there you go. So you may also ask how it works. So here I'll just show you how it basically works too. So Coinbase wallet is a self-custody wallet that gives you complete control of your crypto like I said. So here it's just it's a wallet for your cryptocurrency where you can store all your crypto like bitcoin ethereum and so on so forth bnb whatever you want you may ask so let's get started on the wallet mobile app so basically you just have to download it in your android or ios devices which is available in the app store or the ios store too so let's get started with this so here you will have to download the application like I did so here I already have the application and it'll ask you to sign up for your own account so once you have done that or maybe you have already your existing cryptocurrency wallet so like me you'll have to sign in so the first thing you will have to do if you're gonna if you're new to the application is pick your username it will be a free username change once you have opened your wallet so you will just have to press create new wallet or if you already have just press the i have a wallet so basically just pick your username in this five steps that's in the first part so just pick your name like in the top left corner of my screen it says my username so it's already made so after that you'll have to back up your wallet it's either you back it up on your icloud or back it up manually using your 12 code phrase that they're gonna give it to you after that you'll have to protect your wallet if you're using an ios device it'll use you will let you create use your face id or create a passcode so creating a wallet just press to create a new wallet as i just said step two is reviewing and accepting the privacy policy of terms of services after that you'll have to pick your username and your private press and your privacy preferences and this is how your wall other wallets users can find you and send you payments such as requesting for payments for bitcoin ethereum bnb and other cryptocurrency exchanges so for step four you're gonna choose your preferred security method like biometrics or passcode or as i said face id in your ios devices so we recommend biometric authentication since it's quick access but it's not really that effective since others can access it too so step five is backing up your recovery phrase and you'll have to remember this your recovery phrase which is the recovery phrase for the key to your wallet you should keep this safe as this is the key to your access to your wallet and Coinbase cannot recover this phrase for you whatsoever. No matter what you do, no matter how much re you request with them, it's only to you. So I'd suggest you write this 12-note 12, 12 phrase down in a piece of paper and just store it in a safe or probably not really recommending it to write it down on your phone and whatsoever. So I recommend you writing it down in a piece of paper. So you have to just select backup to cloud or backup manually if backing up to the cloud you'll be asked to set a password to encrypt your backup like your recovery phrase and like your recovery phrase keep this password safe as coinbase cannot retrieve it for you like i said so if you choose to backup manually you'll, you have you can have the option to recover phrase or it'll be displayed for you or for you to write down your copy like i said a while ago and place it in a secure location so after that, you'll just have to confirm the, la the first and last words of your recovery phrase to confirm your backup. And that's it, guys. And that's step six, and you're all done, and your Coinbase wallet is ready. So you can also jump to a wallet that you would like to import from, such as Trust Wallet, if you're familiar with that, Metamask, Coinbase Wallet, and other wallets. So those are just the examples I'm going to give to you. So... In order to import an existing wallet, you must be able to access the wallet's recovery phrase. Just like I said, most wallets have 12-word recovery phrases which access 
the key to your wallet and these words must be kept safe. No what provider including Coinbase can recover this 12 word recovery phrase for you no matter what you do. So if you're gonna ask how to import your MetaMask wallet into your Coinbase wallet, first you have to install the Coinbase wallet on your app like I did. Then you have to open your MetaMask or other mobile apps or your or your browser extension which I also have. So right here. You can see I also have MetaMask. So you have the app or browser extension, you enter your passcode, your password to access your wallet if prompted. Then you click on the menu icon in the top left corner of the mobile app on the top, then you go to click security and privacy option and then tap on reveal secret recovery face but for unfortunately i will show that for you guys since it's very sensitive information as you can see here so if you want you can deposit to my account right here i'm just kidding so step four is copy down your secret recovery phrase this shouldn't be 12 words to be and keep this safe at all times so enter it in the recovery phrase that you have copied down on step five then this should be the 12 words and there you go select a wallet username and set your privacy references so sh choose your prefer preferred security method like a while ago like i said your biometric authentication or a passcode and all, you're all done metamask wallet has been prompted into your coinbase wallet and it's ready to use unfortunately i don't really have the link since i don't really have any cryptocurrency assets with me in this account so there you go there's also an option for importing your trust wallet into coinbase wallet and you can just go to the coinbase website and find it out there so there you go i'm just giving you a brief idea on how to use this and so on and so forth so next is connecting your wallet to a coinbase account it's pretty simple as you can see as i will show you right here but unfortunately the coinbase account thing it doesn't really work in my country so i'm just going to show you a really quick setting so here you can see in the bottom right corner of our screen, we have our settings. And there you go. As you can see here, as you scroll down, you will see Coinbase account. And here, connect to Coinbase. As you can see, buy or transfer from Coinbase. You just press that. It will log, log in a prompt to connect to your Coinbase account or sign into your Coinbase account. Just press that right there. And you it will give you a prompt to sign into Coinbase. And once you have signed up for that, you can use Coinbase 2 as a wallet or as the the cryptocurrency wallet so here i'll also show you how to fund your own coinbase wallet so there's a few ways you can do that actually you can buy or transfer from coinbase like this one this prompt in this message right here or you can transfer or receive funds from other wallets like you can receive here as you can see there you also have the buy or you can just copy the address right there and it's copied to your clipboard and you can send it to someone else which you would want to receive cryptocurrency from so you can see here that you have your bitcoin address and you have your ethereum address i repeat these two things are different your ethereum address is different from your bitcoin since those are two different types of cryptocurrency there's also other assets here such as dogecoin litecoin and solana those are just a few options of cryptocurrency that you can transfer to your coinbase wallet so here you can also buy crypto but as i said you have to connect to the the coinbase application to to buy crypto directly from your account to be placed in your coinbase wallet so that's it just how you transfer or buy from coinbase so as i said you can also trade tokens using dex 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 so so why limit yourself to assets supported by coinbase exchange so with the trade features in coinbase any erc20 coin for one over 6,000 available assets you can choose from. So make sure you have a balance of the assets you want to tra trade from. You can buy or transfer by following the instructions. So in the asset tab, you have um, select or swap the from the top actions from the selection page. And in step three, you'll have to select the asset you want to convert from, the asset you would like to convert to, and designate the amount in US dollars or your asset termination such as Let's say you're in Europe, so you have to use pounds. Then after that, you just have to review the details of your transaction. And when you're ready, just click swap. And those are just a few features on how to use your Coinbase and your on your own mobile phone. So 
you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thank you for watching this video see you again next time